Hey, Western Heights family and friends. Today is July 3rd, which means we are in the midst of the weekend for Independence Day. And uh, last night, Sherman had the lights on the lake, and we celebrated uh, with music and with fireworks. And then uh, tomorrow, there will be even more. And then today, in the in between, there'll be loads of celebrations, which may mean some. You know, some barbecues. It may mean uh, some get-togethers. Uh, of course, it looks different this year. Uh, everything looks different this year with uh, with social or physical distancing, and uh, even even the mandate uh, now to wear masks in groups. Things are just not normal. And there's been a lot of people trying to say, "What what can I do? What can I what can I do in this?" Um, and there, there's been some that saying, "Man." You can't tell me what to do. Some have come to the stance of saying, like, you don't have authority to take away my rights. And, and I have to admit that some of that language sounds a whole lot like what the book of Judges says. In the book of Judges, there's this repeated phrase that said, Israel had no king and in those days, and everyone did what was right in their own eyes. In a lot of ways, that's how we do life. Is we do a lot of what is right in our own eyes. We don't always take into account a better view. We're just doing what is right in our own eyes. And what we would really love it is, is if people were to do what was right in our eyes as well. But that's just not going to happen. That's not the case. So there's, there's some that will say, man, well, what you need to do then is what the experts or the, the others tell you. Now, there's a level in which I get that, but there's also a level in which they can't always be trusted. We're humans. We have agendas. We have things going on that we don't always put, play all of our cards face up for everyone to see. The only authority that we can fully trust, the only one that gives us any, any kind of sense of saying, here's what to do, is God. We see this most clearly in the life of Jesus. What do you do in these situations? What do you do when you encounter death? What do you do whenever you encounter um, uh, sin? What do you do whenever you encounter uh, demons? What do you do whenever you encounter whatever it may be? Jesus continues to give the message of saying, we walk into it. We love. We address the situation to the best of our ability. And we keep on loving. Christians, we need to continue this. Last week, I, I had the opportunity to be a part of a discussion with N.T. Wright, and he said some wonderfully profound things that I'm still mulling over in my in my head. But one of the things that that he said was addressing this pandemic and also the racial tension going on. That many Christians are like, what do I do to fix this? What what do I do? And he says, as Christians, our stance should be around three questions. Historically, these have been the three questions is, who is at risk? What can I do? Or what can we do? And whom shall we send? And the idea on this is that we have to recognize who the at risk party is. We need to recognize who is either the most benefited from this, that might be helpful to know, but who also is the most at risk? And then the question of, boy, what do we do? What can we do about it? Is, it? is it as simple as putting on a mask? Or is it as simple as having a conversation with someone that is different than me? Maybe, maybe we need to be sent. Maybe it's not us. Maybe it's someone else that is a better voice in this. But too often we use that as a scapegoat. We need to send, we need to be sent into those difficult places. So wherever you find yourself this, this weekend, church family, whether it's in celebration of America's history or whether it's in the struggle of saying, hey, you know what, we should be celebrating the, the fact that the government can't tell me fully what to do. Wherever you land, I want you to know that in Christ, that should trump everything. That in Christ, we should be looking out for others. We should be asking, hey, who's at risk? What can be done? Whom shall we send?
Love you, church family. Hope you have a great holiday weekend.